Hi, I'm Real Genetic Demon, and this is Vigilante on the Sega Master System. Um, a bit of a classic, actually. Um, I'll get straight into it. Um, but it's but it's 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 a very close approximation of the arcade version, which you can see on my channel if you have a little look. Um, basically, though, the premise of the game is that um, the, the the gangs have taken over the town. You must defend your turf and rescue Maria. Um, and we, we could only assume that Maria is your girlfriend. Um, it could be your sister. It sometimes happens that way in some of the games. The, the, certainly, I remember in Final Fight, there was a point where it was family members that were stolen away. So, here's our little main man. Um, he can punch things. He can kick things. He can duck down and punch and kick things as well. Like that. Look, there's a leg going. And these guys do really need kicked, unfortunately. And he needs punched in the face. Um... Oh god, they grab hold of you. It doesn't have to remind me of Kung Fu Master and its styling, but but it is definitely Vigilante um, from the arcade. You can jump as well. Um, I've never quite worked out how to kick though and punch at the same time. Seems to be a knack to it or a certain combination of controls, which is a bit awkward actually, that it requires that. Up on the pad doesn't seem to do anything, which is a bit of a shame. Um, I'm going to do something odd now. I'm actually going to intentionally die here because um, once I've lost the nunchuck, it's quite hard to finish the end. Oh no, there's another one there, so I won't intentionally die. Um, once you, the nunchuck gives you incredible um, range with your with your with your fists, so if I can keep hold of it, it gives me a real advantage when it comes to fighting the end boss. Damn it! Go get, get off me! Oh damn! Yeah, you do you do drop it after a while. Uh, it might be worth losing here. Yeah. Not that I actually had much choice. I was actually going to die anyway. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So you're chasing down Maria. You're working out. You know, you're, you're working your own things out amongst the streets. Um, one thing to note, though, is the graphics are absolutely stunning. I mean, it really is. If you've seen the arcade version, again, it's on my channel. If you want to have a look, uh, if you've seen the arcade version, it is. This is very similar indeed. This is even the the sort of black outline given to the characters and the sprites, which the, the, the arcade does, just to really highlight the characters. Um, the backgrounds, including the sort of ice creams there, saying "Oh, big," um, and 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 I think it says Maria as well. I thought the arcade version, though, she was called Madonna. Uh, maybe, maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong, but I always thought she was Madonna in the arcade. Um, oh, I could do with getting these guys properly though. I keep on missing them. That's it. Punch, punch, punch. Yeah, there we go. Got one, finally. Got you, finally. Oh, damn it. Get off me! Ugh. Knifed. Knifed. And he's a sort of brawlers. Um, yeah, there's some pretty good characters, though. They're pretty well, they're pretty well matched to the arcade. Um, which is really good. The, the checkpoints are quite a long way down because basically it's a case of walking straight along one level from one side to the other. You can't move up and down, um, but you can just move left and right, which is fine. It actually works quite well. The, 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 uh, as I say, it's it's it it was born of um, an age when we sort of were the first. These are sort of the first early beat 'em ups of walking across the levels, and they were quite impressive. And I, I think they they may have been spawned by the the. Um, the arcade sort of approach to, to, to sort of normal beat up or something of the Ya Kung Fu's of the world um, where you you know it's sort of pre pre sort of um, Street Fighter and those kind of games but like, this is where one where you can make beat up multiple characters because somebody must have said hey I've got an idea let's kill lots of people or beat them up um, and it works quite well right I'm gonna see if I can convince this guy to do this funny thing he did the earlier I, I managed to get him to jump I managed to jam him basically there's a point on the level where I might just jam him in oh god it's doing this funny thing as well there seems to be some kind of glitch way if you get too close to me you kind of end up in this frozen state there it is and then he can punch the living daylights out of you which is really horrendous I managed to convince him to jump and run underneath me one day and and it was a, it was quite a quite a good thing because it managed to kill him ah come on Nope. Oh dear. Should we continue? Yeah, we'll give it another try. We'll see if we can get past this boss. Oh no, right at the back of the beginning. What a, what a great way to use a credit. You'd be absolutely disappointed in the arcade if you went continue and you ended up there, wouldn't you? Because you don't even have to keep your score. It's one of those games where you don't even keep your score. It's not a not a 
So you, could, you wouldn't even be in the high score table with this one. Right, I've got my nunchucks. So let's see if I can hang on to these for the level. Just duration. There is, does seem to be a bit of a timing issue in the sense of getting the right place. It's practice more than anything else. So especially for those guys who run up to you. Are they, they're, they're surprising that sort of the, 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 what would be the cannon fodder is particularly difficult to beat. Um, if you don't time it correctly, they just beat you up. Ah! Got him! Oh! Get off me! Uh, go past him. Ah, get off! And get him with the nunchucks. The nunchucks have got a really long reach. They're very good against boss characters. Um, and we need to really need to... This is the thing we really need for this last level is these against these boss characters is this... Ah, damn! Lost the thing I most wanted in the whole thing because it really does make life easy. You can, you can, the boss character can't even get to you. You can literally swing it in front of you just randomly, and he, he can't hit you with it. Um, he can't hit you at all, in fact. Which is really so. This is really awkward now. We've got, we've got a big problem. I'm going to get knifed to death here. If I don't, I'll be utterly amazed. Shot instead. No, we went with shot instead. It's interesting though, the shooting uses about the same damage as the knife, or the same damage as one of these guys who hits you, so so it's kind of weird. Okay. Okay. Get off me, shooty guy. Yeah, I punched you to death though. Got you. Alright, okay, we're up to coming up to the boss now. There he is, smoking away. If we wait long enough... Oh! Something else might kill him. Right, come on, get, on, get hold of this. Oh no, no, it's doing the funny freeze thing again. Not entirely sure what causes that. It's really annoying. I'm going to keep punching him here, see if we can get him. Yep, punching him in the love spuds. Right there. Oh dear. Oh, oh, they're swollen up to the size of bags of sugar by now. Anyway, on we go. You have to actually walk off the level if you don't. Things keep coming. You have to go right to the end and walk off. It's quite a, quite a weird one, that. Right, okay, on we go. Uh, so Maria's still in the van. She's the, she means she's been taken to their headquarters, which of course is situated in a junkyard. Why wouldn't it be? Okay, on we go. Right, so we'll get this single... Yeah, get away from me. I've still not got the timing right on hitting those guys. It's just, just eluding me. Oh... Ah, still eluding me. Still eluding me. As I say, it's a fairly, it's it's a fairly accurate conversion. In fact, I'm quite, I'm quite impressed by it. And, and my question for you guys, if you're watching, is: Did it ever appear for the Mega Drive? Because I can't remember it on the Mega Drive. If it did, I'm sure that it would be even more accurate. I guess. I don't think it did. I don't think it did. I don't think that I, I, I certainly made it to the PC Engine. I know it made it to that. So that was Mega Drive time. So maybe. Oh, look at that. No health at all. Oh! So close. So close, but so far away. Right back at the beginning of the junkyard. Okay, here we go. Ah, oh, come on. I'm going to get you at some point with this. Okay, we're going to punch him. Yeah, kicked can't quite get the kick right and the punch right with it's very it's very much the faster characters the little these ones the uh, the sort of the, the the ones with the weapons and things like that they're all right they're not too bad to beat but the, the ones that are just coming running at you at full tilt can't get him just can't get it must practice more oh we've got one there I feel actually quite 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 excited when I actually beat one of those guys not the not the not these guys they're easy these ones Yeah, get off me. Yeah, if I get you one more time, I'm going to dead chuffed. Oh, he's got me again. Get off. You have to waggle left and right to get them off. Nunchuck time! Yes, nunchucks. Nunchucks. Nunchuck. 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 Oh, no! Oh, he got me. He just whacked me in the back there. 
Oh, good God. I think we're going to call it a day there anyway. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I actually, I, I can recommend Vigilante. It is, it is it's a very good conversion. It's worth playing and it's worth your time. Anyway, I've been your host, Real Jeanette Demon. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you in my next video. Bye-bye now.